All right, here's another piece I'd like to share with you guys. Uh, I finished this um, about two months ago, uh, first quarter of uh, 2022. And uh, this is a 1/16th scale uh, MPC Corvette. Um, I started out with the stock version of this kit. This kit was reissued many, many times over the years in several different forms, including the rod shop version, which was a drag racing version modeled after a real car. Uh, it came in several stock forms and then it came in several modified forms as well with different engine options and tire options. So this build has actually um, got about parts from I think four or five of those releases so a little bit of everything but uh, and then some other stuff including the 3d printed parts uh, this was one of my first um, experiences with 3d parts and the tires and rims are 3d printed and uh, they are magnificent and uh, I got hooked up with 3d scale parts uh, is the company uh, I got hooked up with them off of Instagram and uh, I've bought a couple sets of tires from them so far and some other parts. Um, let me see if I can grab the hood off of here. The, um, the intake and the injector scoops on here, or injector, oh, hang on two seconds. This is a two-handed job here. I'm totally klutzing out on, there we go. Okay, um, yeah, the manifold and the intake stacks, those are also 3D printed from the same company. Um, I'm not a super detailer, I'm old school. So I kind of keep it to the a bare minimum, you know, usually radiator hoses and plug lines and stuff like that. In this case, um, I really trimmed the fat off of this kit. Um, I removed all of the bumpers, all of the bumper um, points of attachment, the grill. Um, there, since it's a drag car, there is no radiator. Uh, there's not much of anything else in there either. Uh, I pretty much emptied it, so we're going for lightweight. The only all the body trim is gone except for the door handles. No emblems uh, except the gas cap flipper here. That's on there with an emblem on it, but all the other trim has been removed. So it was all rough. It was all in in really really rough condition, and um, <clears throat> uh, I did a lot of hacking and a lot of changes. So anyway, here. Wow, one of my front tires came off. That was not expected. Let me stick that back on there. Uh, well, I'll give you a chance to see. Everything uh, is made out of metal shims that I made uh, from aluminum tubing to hold those on there. But apparently did not add enough glue on the inside, so I apologize for that. Anyway, um... I did a lot of interior detail. I don't know how well it's going to show up on here, but it's got all photo reduced gauges. Uh, there's a shift knob in there that's really probably not that visible. That is resin cast. It's a skull with a racing helmet on. I'll try to get in there if I can. Let me see if I can direct a little more light that way. But uh, all of the interior components, what's not silver, is all. Highlighted in candy blue and candy apple red. Um, the windows were made from blue acetate. Uh, those are not from the kit. Uh, the decals, uh, a good friend of mine, Chuck Darnell, had uh, these made for both my build and his. Uh, they were copied off the original Rod Shop decals. And uh, these are actually uh, vinyl cut uh, rather than anything water. And uh, they went on just magnificently. Even with all the weird compound curves and indentations, they just went right in there. Just really a pleasure to work with these. And hopefully I'll have more experiences with that. The guy that he had done for those, I'm hoping uh, we can keep him in the loop and have him do some more work for us in the future because the, the decals just came out really nice and so easy to apply, all of them. I was just very, very happy with this, especially back here in some of these really weird areas that are just hard to uh, get to conform. It came out good. The model itself was done in uh, base coat white from Auto Air. Uh, then I clear coated it with House of Colors Cosmic Clear that has blue pearl in it 
and just the slightest little bit of the very, very smallest flake that I have in my selection, which is like 0. 0.00050 or something like that. I mean, it is very microscopic, so it really doesn't show up too much unless the, the car is out in the sun. And the same with the blue pearl under this non-natural light, you really can't see the pearl come out. But I, I was very pleased with the finish of this car. So anyway, but uh, love the big wrinkle wall slicks, love the mags. These are weld wheels. And uh, of course, and it does have the steering front end which MPC did on a lot of their kits back then. Um, the rear end in this thing, front tire is probably going to fall off again, but the, the rear end in this thing was the worst. It's just such a, I mean, it's a traditional Corvette rear end, but it doesn't work great with a drag car. The headers came off of one of the other kits. A uh, good friend of mine, uh, my old buddy Steve Heyman, um, got, he sent me the headers also the racing seat he sent me two of those racing seats i passed one on to my buddy chuck to use in his build uh the racing steering wheel that came out of the black issue of this this uh particular model which uh, was one of the later issues but anyway uh so there it is um uh, 16 scale mpc corvette and uh one of my builds from this year 2022 thanks for looking